kids and families. Whether you're watching this video as a review from Sunday morning or because you didn't make it here on Sunday, I'm just so glad that you're here watching it now. What you're about to experience is some worship so you can sing and dance and worship Jesus together. And then you will watch our weekly Bible story video. This video and the story changes every week and it's the same video that we watch here at the Park Church on Sunday mornings. And then at the end, there will be some discussion questions that you and uh, your family can discuss and dive deeper into the lesson together. I encourage you to do that as a family. Asking questions and discussion is how we grow in deeper relationship and understanding of who Jesus is. And then lastly, in the description below, there are some lesson bonuses, like a weekly coloring sheet. And so I also encourage you to check that out. I pray that as you watch this video, that you grow uh, together as a family in your relationship with Jesus. Take care and have a great week.
took a breath You had a plan for my every step You promised to always be by my side I believe that You are the way, you are the truth You are the liar, so I sing this to you Ah, fire's amazing, isn't it? It feels so hot and looks so powerful. It can be used to cook food, heat houses, or even power massive trains. But it can also be destructive by burning down trees, homes, and even entire forests. Have you ever heard the phrase burning with anger? When someone is that angry, the person may end up making a bad situation even worse. It's kind of like throwing more paper onto a fire and hoping that the fire goes out. Jesus talked about this in his famous Sermon on the Mount, as he taught about the kingdom of God, how God is in charge and making the world whole again through his people. He said, You have heard that it was said, an eye must be put out for an eye, a tooth must be knocked out for a tooth. At that time, most people believed that if someone hurts another person or treats them badly, you should hurt them back in the same way as payback. But Jesus knew that this was not the best way to do it. If we repay evil with evil, then pretty soon everyone will be hurt and hurting each other, and anger will grow and grow and grow until it is completely out of control. Whoa! This is why fire is something that we don't play with. It can cause so much hurt. And repaying people who hurt you also causes hurt. Jesus has a way to live that is totally different. He said, but here's what I tell you. Do not fight against an evil person. Jesus means that if we are confident that God is faithful, we don't have to try to get even with people who hurt us. By faith, we can know that God sees us and will not forget us. God will judge the people who hurt us, and God is a much better judge than we are. Man, is that a hard lesson to learn. But Jesus doesn't stop there. Next, he said, You have heard that it was said, Love your neighbor, hate your enemy. But here's what I tell you. Love your enemies, pray for those who hurt you. Then you will be children of your Father who is in heaven. Okay. Now, I get being kind to people who are kind to us, but Jesus wants us to love our enemies and pray for the people who hurt us. 
Wow, that sounds super hard. Maybe impossible. Our experiment today is a good illustration for this. Let me just get my wondering STEM box and let's see what we can learn. Here we have water and oil. And they do not like to mix together. Kind of like angry or mean people don't like to come together. But today they're going to mix. They would never mix on their own, but I'm going to add an emulsifier. That's a fancy name for something that helps things stick together. You can see how the color has changed because of the mustard, but take a really close look and you will see that the water and oil have mixed together. The mustard was able to bring the oil and water together because it was powerful.